This video is brought to you by Tragically Hooked Outdoor Supply. Didn't love that spot. A lot of a uh, lot of grass and weed getting caught on the jig. A ton of carp swimming around my feet and uh, a little school of gar pike, which is interesting. But um, yeah, I just didn't love the spot. Not enough rocks, so gonna go try a spot too. Same thing here, tons of grass, bunch of carp and suckers flopping around. I don't like it, so gotta go find the rocks. Spot three, a little bit more going on in the rock department. There's a pizza box on the ground behind the camera. There's carp jumping everywhere, but somewhere in there there's a walleye. We'll get them. Here's what we're fishing for the day. Try and get a better shot. Just a chartreuse jig with a uh, kind of minnow plastic there made by Bondi Bait Co. I believe these guys are local Ontario guys. It says fish food not people food. Bondibait.com made in Canada. Cool. Support local. Running into a darn recession here folks. Gotta support local. Anyways. Yeah. Hopefully they're good dudes though. If they're not good dudes tell me I'll stop using their baits. Bondi if you want to sponsor me let me know. Use your baits all the time. I need Bondi and Nike and Bass Pro, Cabela's. If we can get those three, that'd be nice. And Browning. There's a Browning rifle I want so bad. There we go. Not bad. I'm honestly holding on to him dear life because I don't want to drop it. In the cooler. Official measurement on Mr. Walleye there is 17 and a half. Thin, a lot of walleye in this area are pretty thin fish. It's just not like up north, but it'll do for now. Up north's open next weekend. I'm not going next weekend, unfortunately, but uh, we'll be going soon. Water here is not as muddy. There's less grass. This is the kind of spot that I was looking for. More rock, a little bit more clear water. A couple people fishing uh, a couple hundred feet down the river, but I think we got a good spot. I cannot wait to get up north and go hammer walleye and be in the woods. Zone 16 is a weird zone. A lot of people. I've heard people call it a fish factory. People think it's like amazing fishing. Me being a walleye 
primarily a walleye fisherman. I don't, and I don't go on the Great Lakes. It's been tougher for me. The Great Lakes are, from what I hear, really good, uh, especially Erie. Erie in the spring apparently is amazing. Other people I know, they fish for trout and whatnot, and they, they say around here is a fish factory. I've never found it to be that way, but I'm probably not the best fisherman. But in terms of the terrain in Zone 16, um, you know, well, mostly river systems, that's a big snag. Big snag. Um, you're mostly fishing river systems. There's a few small lakes that you usually have to pay to get into, which is crap. Um, so a lot of river systems, a lot of current, and it's hard to find a spot that's not muddy and dirty water. So finding these spots is key. I think those are the spots you want to fish. Fish. My drag is too loose here. Feels all right. Another healthy eye. Come on, get in here. Oh yeah. Another one. That one's a bit thicker. Decent. Obviously it's looking bigger when I hold it up to the camera guys, but we'll give it another uh, measure here. It's looking like about a 16. Not bad. Yeah, we'll call it a shoot, just over 16. Good eater. 16 and a half. Two in the cooler. Frig, I didn't think I'd catch two fish today. I'm pumped. Let's even get two more. Pretty sure the reason that walleye and fish in general like rocks in those kind of streamy areas in my brain it's akin to a dog putting their face out the window they like the fresh air hitting their nose and whatnot hopefully those are all walleye all those little mans i'm still very upset that i didn't get a bear last weekend up north but this makes me feel a little bit better a little bit i keep thinking about bear 24 7. Waking up, thinking about Bruins. Oh, I didn't bring my other battery. We're on low battery here, so if I get another one, I'll turn on the camera. If not, probably just do a recap at the truck.